And what a test for these two sides as they meet in the final of the UEFA Women's Champions League. It's Wolfsburg and they take on Juventus. The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan, don't take risks in your defending third and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. This is how the starting lineup looks today. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. Look at the opposition starting lineup today. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And the contest begins. Cecilia Salvai perfect tackle good movement will it be oh yes first to score in this final and it could be highly significant Well, as you can see, it's a decent strike, but I'm not sure about the keeper here. She can't be beaten inside that near post. Now back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Now a decent position. This could level it. What a vital intervention. Hood. Really getting stuck in. Martina Lenzini. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Well, good-looking play with the ball of defeat. Real chance! And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Payor. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. Yes, end-to-end -end stuff, but now they're forced to track back.
trophy, maybe. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Martina Rosucci, Lenzini, keeping the ball moving, and off the crossbar, so unfortunate. Well, I thought that was in Derek, she struck it so sweetly, plenty of power, she can't come much closer than that. Now with Hegerin. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Options in the centre. And the cross smuggled away. Delightful pass. Chance to reduce the arrears. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Well read to ease the pressure. Nina Oberdorf. Pop. And cuts inside. Surely. An important Payor. And there we have it. She's only gone and made it a brace. Nobody can stop her. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Ariana Caruso. On to Lenzini. Rosucci. Sara Gunas dot here. An attack full of promise. Looked as though she was one step ahead of her opponent. Hoot. Lena Latrein. Chances on. Nicely blocked. Favouring the short one. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Gunas Dottier. She has teammates around her. Corner awarded. Delivering it. Oh, really good header. But the goalkeeper there is a cover-up. Well, not hard to read that pass. Roared. It should be. And she's done it. She's made it a hat-trick. She's tearing this defence apart. What an individual performance! Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Ariana Caruso. Now with Bavenstein. A wonderful intervention. 
Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Might be a chance here. Linetz Bedenstein. Gunnar's Dottier. Chance to finish. And a goal here. There it is. They've done it. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Dominique Janssen committed challenge good looking play as she tries to get them onto the front foot what about the stoppage time situation two minutes the word that's a very fine piece of tackling Eva Payor And so it is, the first half story has been written. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Can she find the right pass? But the danger averted for now. Rosucci. On to Bonansea. Real chance. And a goal it is. Just what she was hoping to contribute. Well, here's the goal again. And what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper. And she hits it with power. It's a great goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Cristiana Girelli happy to take on the shot oh fine stop so a personnel change then trying to deliver it accurately just far too close to the goalkeeper Lisa Boatin Ariana Caruso and options in the centre and behind it's gone for a corner let's see about the delivery brilliantly blocked Not all that convincing defensively. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Linetz Bedenstein. 
It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Can she connect with a teammate? Shot attempted. It could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Trying to pick out a teammate. It might still be problematic. And the referee has given them a corner. Time for a change then. Now sending it in. On a struggle to get it away properly. And a time for calm on the ball. Oberdorf. Rauch. Wasmut. Well, she really deserves credit for that challenge. This is looking threatening. Could cross it in here. A good and fair challenge. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Into the final 20 minutes. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Well, a bit of an unforced error, and it's going to be a throw. Linette Berenstein. Now, options are plenty. It's still alive. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Eva Payor. Well, as you can see from the stats, they've absolutely dominated the game. They've been good in possession. They've created chances. But they just havenven't been clinical enough in front of goal. And oh, sorry, Stuart. Look at this. And a goal. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Chernoya couldn't hang on to it. Now, who can she play it to? Eva Payor. Well, the supporters think it's on. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Linette Badenstein. Oh, the pass not finding its target. And strong play here. Well, shielding the ball admirably. Felicitas Rauch. Can they convert? 
Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Well, they're going for the short one. Determined block. Valentina Chernoya. Well, they have the ball once more. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. They favoured a short one here. Oh, great defending. Being pressed and pressed high. Valentina Chernoya. Possession lost. Oberdorf. Vasmut. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. It's really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.